Hey everybody, it's Dave Tack from Polygon.com. I'm playing Dark Souls 3, and this is the third boss battle in the game, the Curse Rotted Great Wood. You can see we're walking up to the boss battle now. There's a bunch of uh, bad guys sitting around the area. You have a choice right now whether to fight them, and you can, and make a little money, or you can ignore them. Uh, they may pose a slight problem during the battle by, you know, fighting you, but odds are the Curse Rotted Great Wood will wind up killing them anyway. Your choice two phases in this battle because it's Dark Souls 3 and the first phase is all about that gross ass egg sack on his belly what you want to do is get up close and hammer away at it of course that is easier said than done because the curse rotted great wood has long arms and long legs uh, to hit you with and knock you back once you destroy that egg sack you're gonna tick it off and it's gonna do a butt pound into the ground and then this is gonna happen uh, it looks a lot more deadly than it actually is, which is good for you. Uh, there's a, a moment of stunning there where you can get in a few hits, and then the Curse Rotted Great Wood, disgusting as it is, grows a new arm and begins the second phase of the battle down here. There's a couple of different ways uh, to hurt this enemy down here, and there's a couple of different ways for it to hurt you. There's the standard old sweeping leg, there's the butt pound, and then of course there's this arm that can actually grab you and pick you up, that would be pretty much instant death. If you walk around the perimeter of this uh, gross ass tree, what you will find is that there are a couple of little egg sacs for you to hit on the arms and on the back. They're not easy to hit though. We're taking the more straightforward path here, which is to concentrate on that hand. Uh, if you hang out in the perimeter, you'll be mostly safe. When uh, this orange goo appears on the ground, you don't want to run into it because that's going to hurt you. Because it's a big, slow, lumbering enemy, you actually do have plenty of opportunity uh, to move away and to heal. And if you have enough health, obviously, you can absorb some damage and then drink some Estus. But what you want to concentrate on mostly are the egg sacs on the legs or on the back and that hand, which is actually a little easier because, like I said earlier, those egg sacs are kind of hard to find and hard to hit. But probably the biggest single thing you need to realize is that you are going to get hit. Like, I don't know that there's any player in the world who's great enough at sort of rolling out of the way to never get hit consistently. So you want to keep your shield up at all times to either block all of the damage if you've got an awesome shield, or to block most of the damage you would otherwise get. And you just keep plugging away, keeping an eye on your health and your stamina, and looking for opportunities to come in for a hit.